Hey guys, how to here, and we are all very similar in the fact that we all own an Android device. And if you're thinking about switching to the iPhone 6, I just wanted to demonstrate 10 features that Android has that the iPhone 6 still doesn't have. So let's get right into it. Now I'm not going to go into the whole Ben Gates scenario, but just for clarification, I'm not only stating the facts here, so there's no opinion involved but yours. Here's what you'll miss about Android. 1. Now I'm not going to speak for Google, but on Android devices, almost every Google app is updated and constantly receiving new and creative features every single week. If you take a look on iOS though, they do have a lot of Google apps, but they are barely updated, and some of them even look a bit outdated. Plus, if there is a huge update towards a Google application, the Android devices are always the one to obtain the update first. So say goodbye to new and improved Google applications if you switch to iOS. Two. This is one of the more obvious advantages that Android has over iOS, which is third-party launchers. We all know what third-party launchers are. Some of the more popular ones include Apex or Nova, but if you truly want to change the look of your device and customize it to your likings, then you can't choose the iPhone 6. They don't even have widgets for peak sake. So if you want all of your applications clustered around your home screen, then the iPhone 6 is for you. But if you want the capability of customizing your Android device, then Android is what you're looking for. 3. Rooting and modding has always been easier on Android versus an iOS device. Now don't get me wrong, jailbreaking brings some great features to the table, as does rooting, but jailbreaking isn't always attainable. Apple is making it extremely tough for iOS users to jailbreak their device, and it seems almost impossible for iOS geeks to create a method to obtain jailbreak. Plus, even if there is a jailbreak method, it usually only works for one or two devices. Usually the most recent on the market such as the iPhone 6 or the iPad Air will obtain a jailbreak method, but the rest of the Apple devices will not. On Android though, most devices are capable of being rooted with a few exceptions, and the methods are literally a few buttons away and boom you're rooted. You also don't need to worry about upgrading to the latest OS because there are always active developers releasing new custom ROMs with the Android OS updates such as CyanogenMod, Paranoid Android, and much more. 4. We all love to use different browsers, messaging apps, launchers, and music players instead of the default applications already pre-installed onto our device. But one of the annoyances is when you have multiple applications that are different browsers or music players and usually you only want to use one as your default choice. And with Android, you have the option of setting the application as the default browser, camera, music player, etc. With any iOS device, including the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, you don't have this option. If you prefer Google Chrome over Safari, Apple will force you to use Safari when opening links or any of their pre-installed applications for that matter. So if you decide to switch to iOS, you better get used to the applications that they want you to use. 5. Now I don't know about you guys, but I would really miss Google Now if I switched to iOS. Sure they have Siri as an alternative. But looking at the facts, Google Now is faster and serves as your news and updates. The Google cards display your favorite team scores and schedule, the stocks, recent Amazon shipments, articles that might interest you based on your Google searches, and the list goes on and on. Either way, it's your choice on which voice assistant you prefer. With me, that would be Google Now. 6. When you buy an application on the Google Play Store, you have two hours to refund that application for whatever reason. Let's say an application is laggy, wasn't what you expected it to be, or you just don't need it. Then you can just go to the Google Play Store, tap that refund button, and you get your money back. With iOS, you don't have that grace period, so once you buy it, you're stuck with it. In other words, if you want a refund, you can email the developer of the application and only hope that he or she has a heart. 7. Now I love listening to music and prefer to have multiple songs on my device but I don't want to pay a dollar for every single song that I download onto my phone. So in the Google Play Store, there is always a third-party application that allows you to search, stream, and download as many songs as you want for free. Usually you can find them under the search Music Download, and you'll find multiple applications that let you download songs for free. On iOS, the only application that allows you to download music from is iTunes, and every song costs a dollar, which is really expensive. You could connect your iOS device to your computer and transfer MP3 files to your iOS device, but it's such a hassle and on Android you can do it from any place and any time, right from an application. 8. 
With any smartphone that you use, the memory can get filled up with junk files, cache, and unnecessary files that you don't need. So on Android, you can download system maintenance tools like Cache Cleaner or Clean Master and much more to remove junk and clean application cache to free up some memory space on your storage. On iOS, you don't have that option. And so the storage on your iPhone 6 could fill up with cache and junk files and you can't do a thing about it because there's no applications in the App Store to clean your cache or your unnecessary files. 9. On Android, you have multiple ways of unlocking your device. You can have a slider, base unlock, a pattern, a pin, a password, or you can choose to have no lock screen at all by default. On iOS, you can have a pin or just slide to unlock. Or if you have an iPhone 5 or above, you can use your fingerprint to unlock your device. But on all of the other iOS devices, you don't have that option. So if you're trying to secure your device with a variety of options, your best bet is Android. 10. I don't know about you guys, but a static wallpaper is really boring. I really enjoy live wallpapers because I can interact with my background, and it impresses a lot of people when they use my device. We all know this already, but iOS doesn't have live wallpapers. And even if you jailbreak and obtain live wallpapers, you won't have as many options to choose from compared to Android. If you plan on switching to iOS, you better get used to static wallpapers. Otherwise, you're going to get bored of your phone. So there you have it. Those are 10 features that Android has that the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, or any iOS device doesn't have. And hopefully this convinced you to stay on the Android community. And not because you're a fanboy, but because it's just the facts. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget that we have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!